Blockchains that can run smart contracts aren't anything new. They've been around since 2015 with the launch of the Ethereum mainnet. And there are now more than a dozen similar platforms operating today. But despite the rapidly growing demand for decentralized applications or dApps, and the elaboration of increasingly incapable dApps, several major friction points still limit their adoption. Near and Avalanche are the newcomer that looks to address the limitations. In today's video, we will compare Near Protocol and Avalanche. How do Avax and Near work? And what are the main differences between them? What is Near Protocol? Near Protocol is a layer one blockchain that achieves scalability through the use of sharding technology. To secure its network, Near employs smart contracts and the proof of stake, or POS, consensus mechanism. The Near Protocol was created by the Near Collective and co founded by Alex Skidanov and Ilya Polosikin in 2020. The project is being built as a community run cloud infrastructure for hosting decentralized applications or dApps. The Near platform includes a variety of programming tools and languages as well as smart contracts with cross-chain functionality to assist developers in creating dApps. The platform has a streamlined onboarding process and uses human-readable account names rather than cryptographic wallet addresses. Near was awarded the Climate Neutral Product Label in 2021 for being carbon neutral as a POS blockchain. Near Protocol or Near is the Near ecosystem's native token. It is an ERC-20 token with a maximum supply of 1 billion coins. NIR can be used to pay network transaction and storage fees. Smart contract developers can receive a portion of the transaction fees generated by their contracts. The remaining transaction fees will be burned to keep NIR scarce. Token holders can also stake their tokens on the NIR wallet to earn rewards. They stake NIR to run validating nodes in exchange for rewards equal to 4.5% of the total NIR supply. They can also participate in the governance of the NIR network by voting on decisions and submitting platform and product proposals. What is Avalanche? Layer 1 blockchain Avalanche serves as a platform for decentralized applications and custom blockchain networks. It is one of Ethereum's competitors with the goal of dethroning Ethereum as the most popular blockchain for smart contracts. It intends to achieve this by having a higher transaction output of up to 6,000 500 transactions per second while maintaining scalability. The unique architecture of Avalanche allows for this. The Avalanche network is made up of three blockchains, the X chain, the C chain, and the P chain. Each chain serves a specific purpose, which differs significantly from the approach used by Bitcoin and Ethereum, which requires all nodes to validate all transactions. Avalanche blockchains use various consensus mechanisms depending on their use cases. Avalanche has been working on developing its own ecosystem of dApps and DeFi since the launch of its mainnet in 2020. SushiSwap and TrueUSD are two Ethereum-based projects that have integrated with Avalanche. The platform is constantly working to improve interoperability between its own ecosystem and Ethereum, such as by developing bridges. Avax, the native token, is a utility token. The Avalanche ecosystem's medium of exchange is Avax. In other words, the token is used as currency within the network, typically for transaction fees, incentives, and a variety of other purposes. It is also used for AVAX staking, which helps to secure the network. After that, stakers are rewarded with more AVAX. Some users stake AVAX to generate passive income on the network. What are the differences between them? Near. Near's Nightshade technology significantly increases transaction throughput. Nightshade is a sharding variant in which individual sets of validators process transactions in parallel across multiple sharded chains, increasing the overall capacity of the blockchain. In contrast to regular sharding, shards in Nightshade produce a fraction of the next block known as chunks. As a result, near protocol can process up to 100,000 transactions per second and achieve near instant transaction finality due to a one second block cadence all while keeping transaction fees to a bare minimum. Near Protocol also improves on the complicated onboarding process of other blockchains by using human-readable addresses and developing decentralized applications with a registration flow similar to what users have already experienced. It provides developers with modular components, allowing them to start projects like token contracts or NFTs faster. Avalanche Avalanche seeks to resolve the blockchain trilemma, which holds that blockchains cannot achieve a sufficient level of decentralization at scale. 
As a result, gas fees are often prohibitively expensive on Ethereum. Avalanche created three interoperable blockchains to address this issue. The native AVAX tokens and other assets are created and exchanged using the exchange chain or X-chain. These tokens adhere to a set of standardized rules similar to the ERC-20 standard on Ethereum. The Avalanche consensus mechanism is used. The contract chain or C-chain serves as a platform for smart contracts and decentralized applications. It has its own Avalanche virtual machine which is similar to the Ethereum virtual machine and allows developers to create EVM-compatible dApps. The Snowman consensus mechanism is used. The platform chain, or P-chain, coordinates network validators, tracks active submits, and allows new submits to be created. Submits are collections of validators similar to a validator cartel. Each submit can validate multiple blockchains at the same time, but a blockchain can only be validated by one submit. The Snowman consensus mechanism is also used. The bottom line is that both Layer 1 blockchains provide similar technology, and the only way to decide which one to invest in is to try out their services for yourself and make your own decision. As Nier and Avalanche continue to expand at a rapid pace, the platform has sought ways to accommodate a growing user base while maintaining its signature speed and affordability. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you like what we do, and I will see you in the next video.